here with Inspector Ved. Gonna do some exclusive scenes right now. He's got a lot, like a lot of stuff to get off his chest. Right here with Inspector Ved. We're just gonna walk in the corner shop over here and just look around at some of the foods that people buy. It's always baffled me, these shops situated over the whole planet, no nutritional value whatsoever. And we've got people that stand in these shops and exchange little pieces of paper for for food items that are just ain't good for our health. Causing, mu causing mucus in the body. So we're gonna take a walk in there. Uh, I'm just gonna take a little walk around. Yo! Safe, bro. Oh, excuse me, oh, would, would, would you class this as what you're doing as essential work? Huh? Hey boss man, pull it out when you speak. I'm busy. What are you doing? Making a pizza, making a water. A pizza? So do you think that pizza is going to help strengthen Ooh. people's immune system to fight a virus? What class is a key worker? What, is, what, what, what is a key worker? When you look on the government website, it says food delivery. But, but is it even food? But you're delivering? That's what I'm saying, like, we're supposed to be, how is Papa John's, yeah, pizzas, strengthening the immune system to fight a potential virus? This is a key worker, this is classed as essential work. No herbs, no fruit, no salad. Papa John's is the answer right now. That's how we're gonna deal with this pandemic. Okay. <laughs> Inspector Veg, what's that? Blood orange right now. Okay, is that what we need in our system? That's what we need right now. Water, hydration, not constipation. If you don't know what it is, Team GB TV, GB myself, Greasy Bam, here with Inspector Ved. We've been going around the ends and be going around the shopping centre, a few stores, and he's just giving them a piece of his mind. Right now, I just want to let everyone know it's more than a rhyme. We've got a bit of time on our hands today. We're just making a day out of this lockdown. Inspector Veds wants to spread the word and make people know what they should be served. So I'm just going to let him, I'm going to respect it, respect what he's doing. And that's what we're doing now. We're going around the area, we're going around town and we're just making him ask a few questions and give out what he wants to give out to the world, innit? Spread his word, you know what I'm saying? Make it fly like bird. <laughs> but here it is, Team GB TV, disclaimer, Team GB TV does not represent anything what man's saying and not discriminating no businesses or nothing like that and just trying to make my man get everything off his chest and spread his message to the rest you're done though this for meat poultry yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, sorry. just a quick question yeah. do you think that right about now selling um animal corpses is going to help to um help our immune system to fight any potential diseases and provide us with the good gut bacteria we need to fight any potential diseases because well, i'm not a scientist do you need to be a scientist to know, do you know the answer to that? Yeah, I think you do. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Really? I think you do. Perfect. Okay. Apparently you've got, to, you've got to know that decomposing animal, animal flesh is bad for your immune system. Apparently. The few watermelons over here, you like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We make money as a pharmaceutical company. Yeah. How? Yeah. If, if, if that's the case, if they really wanted to help, man, then everything that they gave, man, would come. Every, 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 every medical thing that they have, yeah, comes from a natural source of life. Yeah, take so, constituents from plants. Yeah. From from plants, innit? Yeah, so yeah. so why 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 is it always a pill powdered or liquid form? Why is it never the raw form? Why is it never pour these leaves up? drink that tea why yeah. is it like yeah. if it's pill yeah. consume it that's mixed with all this other shit yeah. that you f you feel good now then next week i got to come back i need my next dosage you see what i'm saying yeah i feel that but i feel like we're kind of giving our power away because we've always we've always been able to get a water distiller clean our water and drink herbs and eat the fruit and eat the, and eat the salad foods that contain water and hydrate ourselves mm. but we always wanted to run in shops like this block our intestines up with, with loads of junk and mucus and then go to the doctors and say, I'm sick, can you give me a scary name and a tablet? 
and, and we do that. We can say the government, do you get what I'm saying? But the herbs have always been there, but what we can, Jack Daniels, JD, beers, Fanta, all these things here, we want to drink this stuff, and then we want to go, when we're sick, then we want to go to them and go, give me a scary name and a tablet. We're giving our power away, yeah, ourselves. I hear you. Do you know what I'm saying? I don't even know that. That's what I'm saying. I think, think here, yeah. imagine this, yeah, there's a thousand, there's a thousand different illnesses out there, but it only comes from one. <laughs> it only comes from one mucus. That's it. It's the only. That's the only thing. Anything. Your respiratory system's blocked up. What is it blocked with? Mucus. You have a headache. You have infectious. What is your system blocked up with? Mucus. It's all the same thing. And where do they come from? The main things that the food. that the companies sell. No, but what foods? The ones that the industries push mainly. Yeah, yeah. Dairy, meat. All those things that block it. Remember you was told at school it's good to eat milk, to drink milk. You know, it gets your bones strong. No, it ain't. Fucks you up. Fucks you up. Why do you wake up with that thick phlegm in the morning? It's not good for you. Is that not good for your body at all? Your body actually can't digest it. It takes longer to fucking break that shit down than any other thing. If you just eat veg and rice, clean for your system. You're all guaranteed. And that's why when you eat those foods, you eat so much more because your body's not nourished yeah no no when you're eating them healthy yeah. foods it, yeah. your body's cleaner it goes through it runs cleaner that's why you're always hungry because you use the energy because it that's why that's why when you eat like junk food and stuff you're tired yeah do you see what i'm saying because it's, it's not giving yeah. no energy your body has to work too much to, to digest to, it to take it yeah. to take all that bullshit out and to take the goodness out of it it's yeah. got to work through all this bullshit so it's tired yeah you see what i'm saying when yeah. you eat clean food you're energized straight away yeah. do you know what i'm saying because yeah. it's actually got what your body needs in it yeah. but yeah water, man in it hydration fruit water salad water herbs water that's what we need hydration if it's not if it's not got water in it then it's it's taking water from you to digest it do you get what i'm saying it's like your intestines send signals to every system of your body so now we're saying oh there's a virus and we want to protect the viruses then why are we not showing people the food that blocks up the intestines if everyone's if we're trying to protect ourselves from from a virus and we're still having dairy, no, having sugar, no, still blocking up the intestines. So when then the virus comes, the, the, when the virus you comes, how are you going to deal with it? Do you get what I'm saying? And it, is it essential work, what they're saying now, to go and stand in a shop and exchange paper money for food that's killing you? Is that essential work? You're allowed to come out of your house and do that. Domino's Pizza right now, they're allowed to sell pizzas. Does that strengthen your immune system? Is that going to protect you against a virus? We're still allowed to go and buy cigarettes now. We're still allowed to buy alcohol. We're still allowed to buy white rice. We're still allowed to buy Mars bars. We're still allowed to buy all the food that's been killing us every day. But nobody says nothing about that. Okay, okay. All right. Are we going to run up somewhere? We're going to run up in one of these meat shops? Okay. So we see over here bread. That's mucus forming again. All these biscuits here, mucus will build up in your body from this food here and in the end you'll get a cold because your body will have to purge these foods. If we're saying we want to help the NHS right now, if we, we can help, the, we can take a lot of stress off the NHS. If we just eat fruit salad and we start to learn about herbs, we can take a lot of stress off the NHS. And we've got over here, are, are flesh, you have, you have a frozen that's one. not going to help. A, a decomposing animal is eating that, it's not going to help, help protect you from... What type of kidney is that? See what I'm saying? A kidney, he's asking, a kidney, a kidney is an organ, man. You get what I'm saying? It's not food. You get what I'm saying? Like, and we believe that, like, we believe that, that that food here it comes in packets. There's no packet on that. There's no labels on that. You get what I'm saying? And, and, and we're giving our power away, like I said. We eat this stuff and we say, oh, give me a scary name and a tablet. You've got seracolacolacolosis. Take this tablet. That's not how life works. That's not how nature works. Okay. And we can see up here, look, there's so many herbs, yeah? Hold on, hold on. And then you can see up here, look, what is this plastic? We're drinking poison in plastic. This shop's like this situated over the whole entire planet. That means that we must want this stuff, genuinely. Do you get what I'm saying? It's not that you can talk about, oh, blame the government, we're giving us vaccinations, they're, they're doing 5G and stuff like that. The government didn't make us eat this stuff. Like there's many, so many, so many viruses that we can talk about. It's like all of a sudden <gasps> they want to help us and they want to help old people. Now they want to help us. Like one, I noticed the education system has always been a virus. We're giving our kids away for 12 years for an education, for a so-called education. When 
Ch children deal with attachment. So first the child's attached to the, to the parents, but when they push them over to the school, they, they become attached to the peers. And the peers give the, the children cues on how to walk, talk, act, dress, what's right and wrong, and helps to shape their identity codes and behaviors. Then they don't care about what the teachers are saying and they back up from the parents because Sorry. they get attached to the peers. That's a virus that's been going on a long time. But they're not gonna tell you about that because it's part of their agenda to control us, to keep us scared. We could be showing kids how to grow food, how to build their own place, out of natural materials. We could be teaching kids knowledge of self, how to meditate, teaching kids, kids could be praying, kids could be doing mindfulness, kids, kids could be doing med meditation, creating art. And we're just giving them away for 12 years and, and, and and we do that and then at 16, 17, 18, the kids become dependent, addicted. Alright, I get it. Alright, we're going to make an exit now, innit? We're going to run up somewhere. We're going to go see what's going on, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Fruit and threads. What do you think about these? They look healthy? I say it's GMO stuff, man. That's what we got to. We got a... Uh, we're living in a world where we're just chemicals inside our our fruits and then to top that off we got loads of stuff in there that's not even food man do you reckon we can quickly go in to check it out yeah why not we got told that milk was good for your bones you know down here just it's a whole lot of mucus going on around here as well obviously right about now we with this virus going on we need a lot of healthy gut bacteria to fight any potential virus and this stuff over here is definitely not going to provide us with healthy gut bacteria so then we ask the question is it really essential work to be standing in places like this and see my man over there look he's buying walkers crisps and that do you get what i'm saying so that's not going to help him like if if obviously it's not we're not judging him it's not going to help him fight a virus if he does get one so government are not really going to full measures to ensure our safety they could be t they could be telling us about all different types of herbs we can drink yeah yeah, it's true. yeah they could be telling us how to clean our intestines you know so we can aid our immune system but, but they're not doing that right now they don't really really educate us they just feed us the problem get the reaction which is the illness then they come with a solution tablets vaccinations whatever it is but i think where the media have such a big platform, they'd be better off to educate us on how our body, bodies works and, uh, and the chemistry that we need in order to thrive and be healthy, but they're, they're clearly not doing that. And alcohol as well, pulls minerals out of your body. Very, 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 this is the virus right here. Do you get what I'm saying? Alcohol, and you're still allowed to buy it right now. So we care about old people, you know, we, we care, we want to stay at home, stay safe, keep your distance. And, Wash your hands, but they never said nothing about alcohol. They could have the police and the military coming in these places and removing all the alcohol. This could have been made illegal ages ago. This is a virus. Over here, which you can see, cigarettes. Please, well, one. As you can see as well, if it's a respiratory problem. See, I don't want to steal from you. Look at this guy up to my man here. What are you going to buy? I'm just gonna check my man out over here. Hey, what's man? Can I, can I have some tobacco, please? Thank you. Uh, just that one there, and a pack of cigarettes as well. Yeah. See that there? Look, smoking damages your lungs. Look, she's coughing blood on the tissue, yeah? That's legal. We would have thought at a time like this when they care about us so much and they care about old people so much and they care about us so much that they're telling us to stay home, you know, save the NHS, help the NHS. Why are they not banning these things? They have the capacity to ban these things. They have such a huge platform and it's fear, it's fear. It's, it's stay in your house, stay in your house, be scared. You're gonna die, you're gonna die. 100 people are dying, 100 people are dying, 200 people are dying, 300 people are dying. But if they pumped us with eat fruit and veg, eat fruit and veg, meditate, do yoga, go in nature, as relentlessly as they did with fear propaganda, we'd all be healthy now. But it's not gone, they ain't stopped it, have they? It's still going on right now. Look, and we and we still buy that. So I think we, we, we need to take our power back. Here you go. Excuse me. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. yeah, just doing a documentary no, for no, my no, man. Yeah, it's documentary, no, boss, man. I know, but you have to ask me for the, the shop and you tell me I will do this, I will do this. Yeah. You didn't tell me, you just came in and talked, and I don't know what's going on. Yeah. Is an in, in inspector veg? Is someone just doing a documentary about the vegetables yeah, know, and what you need to eat and the good minimals? Yeah. yeah, no problem. I don't mind. Just you have to ask him before he came in. Yeah. Yeah. So directly he came in and. So they're saying that it's essential work. We're only allowed out okay, our homes yeah. of essential work. Yeah. Is it essential for you to stand there yeah. and sell alcohol and Cadbury's cream eggs while there's a yeah. pandemic going on and people are risking people are dying? Is that essential work? Uh, actually, I don't know. I'm just stuck here. I'm working here, so yeah. uh, just I mean, when it came oh, so it's in, not your problem. But I'm just uh, talking about the. Tell me, I came in and I record something. Yeah. I do something. So What's anyway, your name again? My name is Howry. Howry, right, safe man. Yeah, you too. All right, bless, bro. All right, respect yeah. you, Howie. Thank you. All right, Team GB TV. You'll see it. All right, Thank you. stay yeah. easy. See, one of the most mucus-forming foods is dairy products and sugars yeah the products in this shop load the body up with mucus in your tissues your throat your thyroid your lungs your muscles your liver your kidneys and your skin when you get a cold it's your body purging toxins that you got from this kind of store yeah these people need to be permanently discredited because they're causing disease and they're allowed to do it every single day even now while we're trying to find a, fight a virus they're selling acidic food and they're allowed to get away with this. <laughs> Your inspector, Yo. you're going to step inside? Step inside, yeah. Places like this just keep mucus in the thyroid, lungs, the liver, the kidneys, the skin. So much mucus in the body that in the end you get a cold and that's your body purging all these types of foods. So right over here, this is a virus right here. And we're supposed to be fighting a virus by strengthening our immune systems, but we're loading up our intestines with more mucus forming foods. When the intestines send signals to every system of the body. So this is what we're dealing with right now. And it's essential work to stand in places like this and exchange Little, little pieces of paper for poison but that's that's cool that's the that's the status quo we got over here tin food as well There's so many herbs we could be drinking to feed the cells and pull toxins out of the body the body's 80 percent water and this is the stuff that we're allowed to drink poison inside plastic right now look here you go and this is where we're going to curb the pandemic because you wash your hands every day. Look, over here, look. Are we gonna strengthen the immune system with bacon? Is that what we're gonna do? Are we gonna strengthen the, Im the immune system with Thatcher's or Desperado or Red Stripe? Are we even, I mean, the media has such a big platform you know they could educate us about herbs educate us about health educate us about the breath educate us about healing educate us about so much but all they, they do is use it to keep pushing fear pushing fear it's like we can't hear the truth anymore because it's, they've been grooming us for so long by, by with this food and these drinks so we can't even receive the truth anymore dealing with more dairy products more inflammation all the time bread you know that's what we need right now you know milk milk and bread Nuts is good over here. Get these organic walnuts, soak these. Just a that. Without the packet, I suppose that would be good. Speak to my man over here. 
Yeah. You're right, yeah. Yeah. So, what do you think about now? What we're going through in this uh, pandemic? Do you feel like the, the the foods that you're selling here are going to strengthen the immune system, or do you feel like it might? It's only gonna hinder our health. What do you think? What do you I think? don't think I'm very hard here, but I'm very hard here, but... No, no, cool. Obviously, we've got some fruit and veg right now. I mean, a lot of this stuff probably got chemicals on it. But I guess at a time like this, this is the closest thing that we can get. We can get water from these foods, we can get hydration. And get water hydration from these foods so i guess this can be beneficial so yeah pick up this shop here what's the name of this shop in the body that we end up getting disease and then we'll go to a doctor's and say oh there's something wrong with me can you give me a scary name and a tablet these people don't empower us and the only thing the government are doing right now is they're pushing fear they're not pushing education they're not telling us to stay away from stuff like this it's essential work to come in these places right now and load up your body with more, more mucus that's what a cold is it's your body purging the toxins that you're buying in these stores <laughs> look, look what we got over here, look. Is that gonna help us? Look. Fight disease. A dead chicken. That's what I'm saying. Is that gonna help us fight a virus? Is it? Look, over here, look. Bacon. Is that gonna help us? Go on. I'm so sorry, I was about to film this. Do you think yeah that bacon, yeah, is gonna help us fight a virus? Yes or no? Go on. I think yeah, maybe. You think so, yeah? Yeah, <laughs> leave it on, leave it on anyway, but no, no, no. Yeah. I mean, I'm serious. It's a policy. What? It's a policy. It's a policy, yeah. Policies, yeah. They got they got many policies. You get what I'm saying? That's why. Obviously, we should have been trying to use money to transition money and go back to nature because the earth is a built in abundance it keeps giving it keeps giving all the time we're dealing with money we're dealing with artificial scarcity there's not enough there's not enough there's not enough it creates the illusion of artificial scarcity i mean we all need money yeah true but we should be trying to transition money and go back to the earth I mean, the body's electrical the herbs are electrical the fruits are electrical the salad is electrical like that's how we need to be living natural law like we're being governed by these people and, and running around chasing paper and look what we got over here that's the problem Sainsbury's is the problem get the reaction yeah which is the illness the disease and then out here we got the solution so they got the problem in Sainsbury's and they got the solution in this pharmacy but it's essential to come in here and buy these drugs when they, they only take constituents from plants and they only do symptom based treatment the symptom will go down for a while but they won't deal with the cause in these places here and these places are starting to lose money as well that's why they want to bring in all the vaccinations because people are, are clocking onto this man when we're, we're realizing that the education system's whack we're doing homeschooling we don't want to give away our kids anymore we don't want these medicines anymore and we're, we're waking up and we're realizing that so they get they want to they're getting scared now that's so they're trying to control they're trying to have their last their last fight because they realize that their time is over now because we're waking up to it and the spirit is non-physical we can't die anything that god made can't die yeah so they can push all the fear, but death is in the mind. What are you saying, man? You alright? Hi. So I'm just going to ask you a quick question. What do you think about the, the, these medicines and that you give out? Do you believe that they just treat symptoms or do you believe that they actually deal with the cause of disease? Um. Well, I think. Yeah. On what medicines would you mean? By what medicines? Just in general, the pills and things that you um, administer. Do you believe that they deal with the cause of disease, or do you think that they just make the symptoms go down for a little while, but the cause then still remains in the body? Medicines have effect. 
into our body, obviously 100%. Yeah. For you to get better, you're going to need to take medication for a certain time for it to obviously control whatever temp whatever situation you're in. Yeah. Um, obviously there is some side effects. I would I wouldn't say 100% yet everything works. Yeah. Um, but 99.9% yeah, I think so. 99.9%. Yeah, I think. So you you genuinely believe in what you do, yeah? Yes. We do. So do you, do you okay. believe in God? Yes, I do. Thank you. Then. So did, did God, was it God that made these medicines mm. and that? No, I wouldn't say that. Exactly. Um, obviously it's human bodies. Human, human makes it. Makes it, yeah. So. so if we get sick and then we come to chemical medicines that human makes, what message are we sending to God? Excuse me, what you are recording? Uh, we just, yeah, because yeah. there's a big thing going on right now, we're just trying to, you know, put Put some truth yeah, out there. Yeah, but there's lots of confidential information all around. What sort, so of, confi sort of confidential information? Patient information. Yeah, we, we don't want no patient information. No, but it's just it's just all over the place. I'm see. not jumping over the counter, taking the patient information and stuff like that. I know. I, yeah. Okay. But I'm saying Hippocrates established a medical school of science I'm just using saying, herbs, yeah? I'm just so, saying, so why right, are we you using know, chemicals? This is a place. Yeah. So I'm asking you, Frank? Yeah. Yeah? So, so we're doing that, we're recording it because we can't be in the name of truth because we're, we're living at a hard time now. We're being told, we're being scared, mm -hmm. the media are pushing. May the I respect problem. your value? There is enough confidential right, information cool. here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You have a good Thank day, you. yeah? You too. run up in the beast right there the pharmacy now obviously they're losing money so they're gonna try and make vaccinations because people are they're eating fruit they're learning about fasting they're learning about meditation they're learning about the lymphatic system they're learning about how the kidneys work information is, is out there now people are learning about this so these people are getting desperate that's the way I see it they know that their time is up so they're getting desperate now they're trying to lock everyone in their houses make viruses different strains you know bringing in radiation and stuff like that because the time is up right now La Rula Health Foods La Rula Ruka Ruga Yeah? La Ruga, yeah Ruga Ruga La Ruga Ruga Love, love We'd like to big up my man now because he's, he's, he's selling health products during the pandemic, a time where we're going to need more plants, we can need herbs, we need fruit, we need vegetables, we need hydration, we need alternative food products at a time like this because it's very important to support the immune system for good gut bacteria, what we need in our body to fight any potential diseases. So I would like to say a very big thank you to, what's your name? Alfonso. Alfonso. Thank you very much to Alfonso. Yes, selling us herbs, you can see over here. He's selling minerals for the body you know he's doing his bit for the community now which i would say yeah this is essential work thank you very much alfonso all right have a good day hey hasta la vista hasta la vista so what's going on is we've been educated wrong about food every day we're eating on the corrosive side of chemistry, yeah? And there's only two sides to chemistry. See, you've got alkaline over here, yeah? Your natural food, it grows from the earth. And then you've got your acids here. Synthetic, man-made foods that we eat and drink every single day. You keep eating, this is the stuff that the government promote. You keep eating this stuff, then in the end, your body builds up with so much mucus that you go to the doctors, the GP, and they give you a scary name and a tablet, yeah? But they won't tell you to eat this stuff, yeah? And they won't tell you that this stuff here is the reason why you got sick in the first place because then it just keeps the wheel turning. Problem is the food, reaction is the disease, and the pharmaceutical, they got the solution, the so-called solution, but it really only suppresses symptoms. It, it doesn't deal with the cause. So we need to get back to the body's electrical, the herbs are electrical, the fruits are electrical, and the salad is electrical. If we get back to this stuff right here, where we originally was, we can get our power back, and we don't have to keep giving it away all the time, yeah? Nature has always had the answer, always. Peri Peri, yeah? Oh shit. Oh, it is. Hey, what's man? Do you think that selling deep fried chicken and chips is gonna help us 
help our immune systems in this fight, this pandemic that we're going through right now? And do you think it is essential for you to be out of your house selling people deep fried meat and chips? Yeah. Would you say that that is essential work right now? Yeah, because I'm getting paid. Do I have to do? So you're saying, because you're receiving a little piece of paper, it's okay for you to sell products. If I don't get this, well, how am I gonna pay this product? Do you think it's okay, just because you're getting paper, to sell food that's essentially gonna weaken the immune system and make people that's more susceptible to diseases? That's not, that's, that's their choice to eat that food and choose that food. But do you wanna be part of that? I don't wanna make money. So, do you want this, do you want these types, do you want dead animals inside your mucus, inside your body. That's what keeps me alive. I don't eat this. You don't eat this? No, I don't eat this. But you just, you just said it to other people. Yeah. We've got the refined sugars over here. The dairy products over here, the most mucus forming food on the planet. Inflammation. One of the major causes of disease, diabetes, cancer, you name it. It's on sale right now. That guy over there is a key worker doing his essential work by selling dairy products and cigarettes. It's a respiratory um, problem that we're dealing with. This virus affects the respiratory system. And my man's out here selling alcohol and cigarettes. Look, look we're seeing, it. oh, excuse me. Can I have some cigarettes, please, boss? Uh, just um, any, anyone, it's up to you, you choose. $9.79. See, I ain't gonna pay $9.79 for that, bro. Do you get what I'm saying? You, you know what's going on right now in the world? Do you think that we should be able to um, buy cigarettes when coronavirus is a respiratory problem? What do you think, boss? Or alcohol? Are you a are you a, a key worker? Is this essential work? Obviously, I'm not blaming my and obviously I've checked this one out as well. Bacon, bro. That's literally what we're dealing with right now. We're looking to fight a pandemic with bacon. It's still legal, bro. Pepperoni, pepperoni in that like look, it's pepperoni thing. Literally, that's legal right now. You can legally come out of your house and buy a pepperoni. That's what we're dealing with. We're dealing with cow's pus over here, milk, you know, cheese. All type of synthetic products. Devastating for the immune system. And we can buy them right now. So we've got over here. Cronenberg, Cronenberg for the immune system. Like, you can stay in, that's all the information we got. Stay in your house, wash your hands, but you can still get Cronenberg. Stay in your house, wash your hands, but you can still buy Fosters. Doesn't make any sense. All of a sudden they care about us. If they cared about us, they would stop all these products. Cancer, these diseases, diabetes, they should not exist. These are the real killers, not over here. When are we gonna wake up people? These people here, Coca-Cola, these companies should be permanently discredited. These are parasites to the human spirit, to the planet. Coca-Cola. Is that what it is, yeah? Stay in your house and wash your hands, but come and get Kellogg's conflicts. Literally, like. So our cocoa pops. <laughs> cocoa pops in that, yeah. Is that what we need right now, yeah? We're gonna fight coronavirus with cocoa pops. Boris Johnson ain't saying nothing about cocoa pops, is he? He's cool with that. That's legal right now. Do you get what I'm saying? If I'm walking down the street or I'm I'm going out to a park to put my feet on the earth to get in some sun, I'm gonna get a police officer come up to me and tell me get back in your ass. But they're not gonna tell me not to eat cocoa pops. That's 
sick left media over here. Boris is out. That's not really. Right, so it's bullshit the whole thing. So we shouldn't be watching the media, TV, newspapers. We should be done with that. My man ain't saying much, but yeah, we're just doing our bit now. Time to speak out, really. We need to be speaking out, standing up for our rights because it looks like there could be new laws, new policies are coming in soon that could be restricting our, our freedom. So we need to empower ourselves now. We stop eating this rubbish, going to a doctor. What's wrong with me? Can I have a scary name and, tab and a tablet? Then we're just giving our power away all the, all the time. We're constantly giving our power away all the time. Peak. Right about now we're standing outside Joe's Bakeries in Bristol and we've got another one of these essential workers right now. Excuse me. Hello, you're right there. Uh, just, uh, just have a quick question to ask you. Obviously we're facing a pandemic right now. Do you think that it is essential for you to be coming out and selling bread at a time like this? Do you think that bread is going to be boost the immune system and give us the healthy gut bacteria we need to fight a virus at a time like this. I don't want to ask any questions. Sorry. No, I think it's a bit more complicated for us in these types of, you know, because we're, we're employed and we have to be here and we make work so it's, it's kind of, it doesn't really, I mean, obviously, it's obviously not a safe situation for anyone. Yeah. And people have to stay in the best of possible anything. Yeah. But if you have to work, you have to work. I'm saying drink the herbs, eat the fruit, eat the salad, yeah, hydrate the body, yeah. And take more pressure off the NHS forever. Because we're, we're, we're saying, oh, save the NHS, save the NHS, but we can't even save ourselves because we're still running up in these shops and buying dairies, sugars, processed food, filling up the whole body with mucus. The tissues, the skin, the last why we get a cold because the body is purging these toxins that we're eating in all these shops. They're telling us all of a sudden that they care about us and we, they got they got to keep us inside our houses, but they're not educating us, and they've never ed educated us. And the, me the media, the news has such a big platform where they could talk about our health and show us how to protect ourselves and what to consume and the stuff that we are consuming, which is hurting us. And they're not talking about that, so we have to question. We have to question their intention and their motives. You saying? I, talk, I do agree with you, but what we're doing is right now, because there's a worldwide pandemic going on. Yeah, we don't yeah. fucking get beer and fucking food, mate. He's saying, basically, he's saying he wants to stand there and he wants to have some food, but we're going to go to the dictionary later and we're going to see what food is and then we're going to come back and we're going to see if that is actually food. Because it's not food because it doesn't nourish you. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Wait, guys, I got a quick question for you. Yeah. Yes. You know we're facing a serious time now with this epidemic and this virus. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think that alcohol, dairy products, and refined sugar is going to help to strengthen our immune systems and give us the healthy back gut bacteria that we need to fight any potential viruses? Also, me, are you making the video first? I just, I just asked you a question, man. Listen, you know I love here. You're going to ask the first question you come in the shop. Do well, you think that this is essential work, though? Selling no, you're going to you, you ask first. <laughs> you ask first. You ask first. You ask first. I'm not being angry. I just asked you a question. No, 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 no angry. I'm never angry. You ask first question. You come in the shop and come back with recording. Yeah, I asked you a question, man. That was a question. Yeah, that was my question. You, you need a camera. You ask first. Do you think it is essential work for no, you no, to be brother, selling you, alcohol, you, you, you dairy products question? and refined they sugars during a worldwide yeah, pandemic? Did they get angry? They can't answer that. They can't answer that. Yeah, I'm just near Inspector Bed's garden. Just right here walking bare trees and naturalness around here, you know, as you can see. Yep, a few dogs playing pets, so I'm going to go and see Inspector Veg at his lab, see what is sitting inside. In the lab right now, 
with Inspector Veds, as you can see. Copy yes, we're going to say, go check out this book here, Dr. Robert Morse, Raw Foods and Herbs for Complete Cellular Regeneration. Let's have a stroll, see what, we, see what he's got in, on here in the bowl, in the lab. This is what Inspector Veds eats. No sweets. So over here, we got the water distiller that's taking all the information out of the water. And then we're putting that water here in the glass kettle with the bitter leaves. You see, the more you get onto the bitter, the less you want the sugar, the refined sugars. Because the bitter is hard to drink at first, but then after a while, when you get used to it, it gives you a kick. So the more bitter you drink, the less you're gonna crave for refined sugars. So that's always the trick. And it's gonna be hard at first when you start drinking a bitter, but you'll get used to it in the end and it will save you from the refined sugars. So we've got vervain over here. We've got some, see that, you see herbs for the immune system there. Red clover, bulgur weed, fenugreek, plantain. Here we've got the um, sea moss there, 92 minerals. As you can see, we've got the herbs for the lungs as well there okay so yeah all of this contains water what herb is this thyme mullein colt's foot We've got the vervain over there ginger is good for the healthy gut bacteria starting the day off with ginger see it's all about water here fruits water vegetables water herbs water it's all about hydration see that on the news they'll tell you to you know Stay in and, and wash your hands, but they won't really tell you what to wash your hands with because if you're, you're washing your hands with the wrong products, then it'll be sinking into your bloodstream and it'll be poisoning you the same way that the, the food will. So I think it's time that we can start to educate ourselves and empower ourselves to, to eat correctly, then we don't have to go to, to GPs and for silly, crazy diagnoses and um, crazy tablets what they've given us with uh, all types of funky stuff inside. So. As you can see there for the immune system, that's a good book right there called Earthing. You wanna go and check that one out online. We're in Inspector Veg's garden, looking righteous, very natural. So yeah, the human immune system evolved over millions of years. During this great span of time, of course, we lived mostly in barefoot contact with the earth. We were naturally earthed, yet scientists haven't yet noticed that modern living involves a disconnection with the Earth's stab stabilizing electrical energy and a loss of the body's natural grounding state. And this loss may set up the immune system to malfunction. Did the immune system and the nervous system and other systems in the body stop functioning properly when we began wearing shoes with insulated soles and living inside houses that insulate us from the natural frequencies of the Earth? Dr. Rossi was uncommonly attuned to the potential health risks caused by the separation of the earth and the body created by modern shoes with soles made of insulating material. The sole of the foot is richly covered with some 1,300 nerve endings per square inch, he wrote in a 1997 article in Footwear News, that more than bound on any other part of the body of comparable size, why are so many nerve endings concentrated there to keep us in touch with the earth? The real physical world around us is called sensory response in our feet and in the paws of animals. Try walking barefoot on the ground for a couple of minutes. Every living thing, including human beings, draws energy from the field through its feet, paws, or roots. Yo, and this is around too much feet, you know. <laughs> too much feet. Uh -huh. Too much feet, G. Like, Inspector Veds, I got a, um, he said that we, he doesn't like to wear shoes. He doesn't like to wear sandals. There's energy on the feet. And I know certain people don't even like looking at foot right now. I don't even know if a man got corn and that. I just know that a man eats corn. That's what he's talking about. You know what I mean? But boy, excuse me if you don't like feet. Inspector Veds said that he's got a purpose to speak about, which has something to do with feet. So what's special? I don't really see you wearing much trainers out here. No Jordans or nothing. No, nah, nothing like that, bro. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the grounding helps your cardiovascular system, the respiratory system, digestive system. So. Get your feet on the earth. Okay. Food here, yeah? Any nutritious substance that people or animals eat or drink 
or that plants absorb in order to maintain life and growth. That what they're selling is not going to help us to maintain life and growth. That's what I'm saying. What are you doing there, Inspector Veg? Right about now, we're just cutting out the salad. We're going to make a, a sauce with the salad with like um, lemon, tahini, agave syrup, and um, olive oil, thyme, salt, and pepper. Coming through with the bad boy salad. All right. We might have some quinoa. Some quinoa with that as well. Looks like the salad game. You better know that I do my job, man I'm always ready I bet you's had sex with a carnivore but she ain't had it with a vegan or a veggie Fruits in the day, salad in the night, steam and squash while with a wild rice I eat electric food so I don't do peri-peri In the summertime comes I'll be climbing trees while foraging berries Don't fuck with the big hybrid tomatoes, only fuck with the plum and cherry I was all blocked up full of mucus till I started following Eric and Sebi Now I'm feeling no light, I was dense back then when my colon was way too heavy Cause you might see me in a German whip Blacked out windows leaning back No chicken, lamb, beef or fish, we could vegan dish bread green and that and Nah, that's not me, sausage and butter, that's not me, yeah Used to eat deep fried meat but I knocked it all on the head, now I'm healthy like no flu, no cough, when I fruit floss No chicken, no lamb, no beef, no cold, no running, no spot that I don't need a handkerchief, when the sun goes away I ain't staying for the rain, I be jumping on the plane Walk by the beach, touching all the right elements with a big melon Straight, yo, fruits and berries, you might end up dead and buried With your body in the dirt like wellies, check out the mush, you better check out the semi Rational fasting, homage to Arnold, spit the lies in your mouth you gargle, gargle Type me in Google, type me in Yahoo, I bring the electric bar through fruits Berries and melons if you wanna be healthy we need more fruits, berries and melons if you want to feel fresh We need more fruits, berries and melons if you want to get to Wellville And we need more living food, girl we can't eat flesh Yo, cause my family keeps eating bacon Don't matter what I say or do, no matter how hard I try I can't seem to get through, sometimes I flip a gold man at the fridge But it still gets consumed, but I keep on telling them Dead pigs ain't human food and it goes like chicken dippers Yo, baked beans and turkey drummers, pipes all clogged up when we needed the plumbers Look in the fridge, Kellogg's in the cupboards, no wonder what we suffered Chicken dippers, yo, baked beans and turkey drummers, pipes all clogged up when we needed the plumbers Look in the fridge, Kellogg's in the cupboards, no wonder what we suffered yeah. Oh no. 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 Oh no.